everyone, and welcome to an episode of The Sims 4 Create a Pet Creations that shall prove that you shouldn't leave the powers of science in my mischievous hands. Because today, my friends, I want to answer a very curious question that actually popped into my head when I was showing off this amazing horn and hoof custom content in our last video a couple days ago. If you're wondering, how on earth do you have a cow, Siri? Like a literal cow. I've had a cow. This is awesome. Uh, then the horns and hoof video is what you want to go check out so that you can find the links to the amazing Caltron, who has developed not only this beautiful cow and many tigers, lions, and bears, by the way, but also this awesome horn custom content. This is just fantastic. And especially when you pair it with Kismet's awesome hoof uh, custom content down here, both of which, by the way, are accessories on the animals. So we're not actually looking at a whole new breed of dog, now known as cows, but we are looking at accessories that you can put on top of your animals. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Every time we have the cow and it barks like a little squeaky toy dog, it just cracks me up. But I really love these and as many of you guys were commenting, they would also be really, really cool to be able to use to show off some of our nichelings that we have had in our niche games. So except, like, expect to see me playing with these horns in the future. But for now, as I was staring at this cow, I just couldn't help but wonder, what happens when you cross a cow and a dog? <laughs> I don't mean like a cow dog or a cattle dog. There are some breeds of dogs that go by those names. I mean an actual bovine beauty such as this with uh, some random breeds of dogs. So today we are going to be mixing this cow, which once again, just to make sure you guys know where she came from, because it's only fair, only fair to make sure that you give proper credit where credit is due. Where, where on earth is the cow? Oh gosh, Caltron? <laughs> She's in here somewhere. I swear she is. Uh, let's see. And click on some content. Cow. Cow. But we're going to cross Caltron's awesome cow, which is somewhere in here. I wish you could sort. Can you sort yet just by pets? That would be really cool if you could sort just by pets. In fact, I wonder, well, you could include those packs. Anyway, this is Caltron's cow. Um, and I, like I said, you can find the Caltron in, well, I'll, I'll put down her link to her Twitter in this video as well. And I wanna cross this cow with some dogs. And I just wanna see what would happen. How, how wonky and how crazy could they start looking? So let's go ahead and start just playing with genetics and seeing where we go from here. We're gonna start with uh, this calf and then let's just use like unknown parent, like some mischievous wandering dog goes by the family farm and results in a son that looks like, like this, pretty normal actually. <laughs> <laughs> but with beautiful blue eyes. Now that is actually something I think would be really funny is if you had the cow on your Sims lot and then you didn't notice that like your cow ended up breeding with a random dog and the next thing you know, you end up with a cow dog crossbreed. <laughs> Oh, this is so funny. The next thing you know, you end up with a cow dog crossbreed that looks like this. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Look at him. He's just so fascinating. And if you're trying to decide, well, what do I give this mixed breed? Is he going to end up having horns or not? I think it'd be really fun to come over to the pet clothing and actually go ahead and randomize the pet clothing to see if he would end up with horns or not. So let's try that out. Okay, he would end up with a sweater instead. So no horns on this cow dog. However, I will probably go ahead and give him some hooves because he has the right color for the hooves at the bottom there. And uh, this would be this would be one of our children, one of our cow dog children, which I think is pretty darn hilarious. In fact, I actually really like that sweater on him too, so he can keep the sweater. All right, so let's have Mama Cow go ahead and have another, another cow dog calf mix. They look so adorable as itty bitty calves. Uh, really, really cute. Look at that. I love how the cow coloring seems to be inherited on a lot of the dogs. And then as an adult, 
pretty darn normal, pretty darn normal. A lot of change in the body shape, but I actually think that's really fun, especially if you want to use this patterning and create a new dog. I found it's really hard to like create this patterning myself. So this may be a way where you could get some new shapes and sizes on the cows that you may want. But would this son end up having horns or would he be pretty, uh, pretty normal too? Let's see. He would end up with a scarf. In fact, let's see if we can even get the custom content horns. Can we end up with custom? You can! Yes, that is so cool. I think we're going to start playing with these in our random genetics challenge to see if we can start ending up with horns on some of the animals. That would be really fun. So yeah, if you hit the random button enough with pet clothing, you can end up with horns on these cows. So that's pretty fun. I'm going to give him hooves too. And then let's see just how weird. So far, Mama Cow hasn't had that weird of babies. But can we carry on? All right, all right, let's see. No, pretty normal looking. Pretty normal looking. Let's try randomizing again. Okay, okay, a lot of changes in the snout. Oh, here we go. Now the ears are tiny. Very lean body. This is almost more like a guard cow. He's going to protect the family farm, no matter what it takes. He will make sure that the safety of his family is paramount. All right, uh, what else could we end up with? Okay. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look how cute that is. Having a little flop ear cows. Oh my goodness, I love this. I love this. Okay, let's go ahead and see if this big, big boy. Look at that chest on this one. If this one would end up having horns. And the answer is... No. <laughs> no horns on this one. Just I'm going to randomize just once to see how that would be. But what would it look like if we gave him like these big antlers? Kind of awkward on this guy. I don't think that his tiny little ears really, really can carry those antlers very well. But it would be really interesting. I mean, that kind of goes with him somewhat. That's kind of cool. All right. So he is actually probably adorable just with his little floppy ears. And he looks like quite the nice cow. So let's try a couple more from over here. Oh, we have a very skinny cow. <laughs> this would definitely not be like the healthiest cow in the world, I think. So yeah, you can really have a lot of fun. I think it's interesting how they all inherit the mother. Oh my gosh. Or should I say, oh moo gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. I love him. I love him. Come here, my son. Even if you had horns, nobody would know until they tried to pet you. Look at him. Look at his glorious, glorious self. I love this. This is hilarious. This is everything I could have ever wanted in a cow dog. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But I do have some questions when it comes to the cow dog, actually. And I, I do have a couple of them. We'll go ahead and see if this guy would end up with horns. And oh! <laughs> he would! He would too! Look at the size of them! Oh my gosh. So he randomized these horns. Yeah, I think we're going to have fun having horns and other custom content in our Sims 4 random genetics challenge because you end up with some really mix match animals like this. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to add that into those ones. But all right. So one of the things that I do want to actually check out is we're going to try to breed mix, make a mix breed with this. Oh, what does this one look like? Pretty interesting, but I want to actually make a mixed breed between the cow and we're going to pick some breeds this time because I was kind of thinking over what would it look like if we took the cow and a chihuahua and we tried to have a cow and chihuahua puppy. I'm a little bit curious about what that would be. Okay, so oh, it would inherit the, the chihuahua features, it seems. Uh, perhaps. Okay, cow body, chihuahua features. Oh, 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 maybe this isn't, this, this isn't really going the direction I thought it would actually, guys. <laughs> okay, maybe I don't want to see what a cow chihuahua lo would look like. Um, oh, maybe I do. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Moo moo. 
Little Moo Moo. You're so cute. You're so like weird and so cute all at once. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, now we have the answer to what a cow chihuahua would look like. I think that he is perfect. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this glorious child. And just know, just know that if you invite the humble cow onto your family property and let her roam around, you may one day, one day, end up with quite the unexpected set of surprises in your family. And it truly may be worth it. You could invite in some good hearted flop ear boys. You could invite in some <laughs> antler wearing um, very fluffy boys and you could invite in tiny little moo moo barking cows. This is just so cute. Can I even can I put the hooves on him? I hope the hooves are there. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, thank goodness. The hooves are here. <gasps> Look, they're so tiny. He's so dainty. He's so dainty and cute and weird looking and I love him so much. Oh my gosh. Can I give him little horns? You can give him tiny horns. Now he actually looks a little bit more like a demon, if I'm completely honest with myself. We have now created a little demon dog. We're gonna back up a couple steps. <laughs> I did not expect to fall so in love with Moo Moo. But there you go, guys. So that is what happens when you cross a cow and a chihuahua. And when you uh, just jump in with a cow and let her try to have some mixed breeds. And I actually think it would be pretty fun to just have a cow on my family farm and kind of let our lineage of cows change over time by taking our hands off the wheel and just letting her breed with whatever dogs wander by, as weird as that sounds coming out of my mouth right now. And uh, then, you know, you might, you might have several generations where the cows look fairly normal and then all of a sudden you have very fluffy cows ready for the eventual addition of seasons into sims 4 so i think that would be really fun and it's just a reminder this truly brings back and let me know if you guys agree with me some of that whimsical goofy silliness that i have always felt the sims really does so well and i adore that so i can't wait to share some more of our random genetics experiments coming up with you in the future especially if we are going to be adding in some horn genes to our random genetics challenge family tree kind of feels like unlocking the horns in niche if i'm completely honest and possibly even uh, creating some of our nichelings as well so i'll see you guys next time Woo! <laughs>